Hi, this is Gail and welcome to my channel. Well, today it's pocket number two in Didi Farraga's pocket series. So let me show you. Ah, if you watch the first video that I did, I hadn't decided what I was going to do with these pages. So I wanted to keep the dividers and such. So what I've done is simply use some papers that I received for Christmas and I'm using those to cover up any of the writing or pictures and see I thought the backs of these were fine they're plain papers and then I put the papers on remember this is a pocket that opens this way and I put those over that pocket and then I have this paper, and this is pocket number two. Now, pocket number two, you can make them any size that you want, but I thought one of the things that I have laying around are uh, magazine pages. So I use magazine pages uh, for the first two pockets that I made here. Now, I've just clipped them in for the time being, however, you will more than likely glue them down in your book. Now you can make it so it slants in this direction and you tuck here, or you can fold it so it slants in this direction and you make it a tuck on this corner. Now, um, again, you are going to glue them down. I am kind of waiting to see whether I might want to use this one in my botanical journal. So that's why I'm leaving these clipped in for right now. But I wanted to show you how they're used. And I will now show you how to make it. Notice I haven't done anything with the cover of this book yet, still thinking about it. Don't want to do a whole lot because it really is just a sample book. I don't think it has to be decorated a lot. But while I'm at it, let me show you these papers. Um, on the back, this shows you the different uh, papers. They're like uh, wallpaper, but the paper itself... It's uh, just on one side. It's thin. It's almost like wrapping paper, but it's um, not shiny. Okay, so those are the designs in this. And it comes in this really big, it's 13 and a half high and nine and a half wide. So it's very good size. It's called Floral Engravings by Pepin, Gift and Creative Papers, okay? They are huge, and let me just give you an idea. Um, what you have are these huge pieces of paper. Now, they tear out very easily, so now... I have the loose paper, okay? This is folded into four parts. So it is <laughs> four times bigger than this one sheet. So this one sheet is nine and a half across and 13 and a half long. It just won't fit on my screen here because I have such a small area to work in. But I am telling you, you can do a lot with these papers. And that's why I thought, oh my goodness, I can use one panel, maybe two, and still have half of it left. So why not use it in that idea or sample book? Okay, so that's what I'm doing. Alrighty, so let's get started. Now, again, you can use any size to make these, okay? I thought I would use this paper because I had some uh, left. And I made this one a little bit smaller than the ones in the book. The ones 
that I've already put in the book uh, were really wide. Now this isn't as wide as those. This one is about three and three quarters inches wide. Um, and all the way to the top of the point, it's about seven and three quarters. So three and three quarters, seven and three quarters. Now you can make these however tall you want. Maybe that's too tall and you want to fold it up a little bit more. That's fine. Do whatever you want. But these are super easy. So again, now this time I started with 13 and a half inches long because I used the whole length of it. I was just curious to see what that might look like. Folded it in half like so. Creased it. Okay. Then what I did was I folded this over like this. Okay. Then I went down here. Because remember, this is going to fold up like that. So you want this one to fold over as well. So it's going to fold in the opposite side. See what I'm saying? This one, this one folds this way, this one folds that way. And again, you know, you just take and bring it up flush with that. Then you have to decide how how long or tall you want the pocket to be. And this is what I did. I thought, hmm, kind of like that. Nice little distance in between them. And folded it up. Creased it. And voila. Now, I can go back in and glue it. Or I could have glued it to begin with. So... And I feel like I want to use the glue stick. So that's what I'm doing. Just going along the edges because it really doesn't need much more than that. My desk is so slanty. <laughs> so, yeah. Hope everybody had a great New Year's. Hope everybody is well and having perhaps a wonderful weekend off work. Okay, going to fold this over. So I'm just going to glue along here, maybe a little in there. Okay. I mean, again, this does not have to be perfect. Okay, then this one's going to go the opposite direction, and glue in there, and voila. Okay, then I can fold it, and there we have it. Okay, now, you could sew it if you wanted to right along the edges, and that will keep it down. Okay, but I am... Just going to do that and then that along the edges, okay? Just along the edges and that way it will stay in place. And then uh, that gives me a pocket in here, pocket here. And depending upon how I want it glued down in the book, then I could also have a pocket underneath. I can make it a tuck instead of a pocket. Okay, so here we have the book. And here's the page. So let's say I wanted to put it here, which you wouldn't, but 
Okay, let's say we want to put it here. Then we can glue just along this side and the bottom and leave it open as a tuck. Or we can do this side, the bottom, and this side. And then it's just strictly a pocket. So it's up to you and what you might desire. So for now, I'm just going to stuff it in right there. Okay, do we think we need to see another one? Let's do another one real quick. Okay. And here we go. So I'm going to fold. How about this one? I make even narrower. Look how narrow that is. Let's do it just for fun. Okay. This was just a piece of scrap left over. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. This one's really going to be a skinny one. Okay, let's fold it this way this time. Depends on how you want it to open. So. Okay, so it looks like this time it's going to open this way, okay, and how much distance do I want? Yeah, let's do this, we bend it over to the edge, okay. Now remember, you can go to Dee Dee's page and you'll see her making these. And hers are, you know, everybody does something a little bit different. Don't think I want, I think these, this could be a real skinny one, like for a bookmark, maybe. Okay, so there we have that. And now let's go in and we'll glue. Okay, so let us glue. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Glue just along the edges, enough to hold it down. Part of me says you probably even don't have to do that, but yeah. I like to. Okay, now we're going to glue the little triangle down. Boom. And then we're going to go over here, glue this triangle down. These are super simple pockets, but they're effective and useful. Okay, then we'll get into some more of like the ones that have little secret hiding writing places. Those are my grandson's favorite. Okay, so now I want to glue up in here and up here to make the pocket. I could leave it open and it could just be a tuck when it comes to putting it on the page and that's kind of up to me okay really this paper is beautiful okay so here we have it and again here let's put it in the pocket shall we so again this one could go here Or it could go here. It just depends on how you want it to open, I suppose. But I'd go with here, right? So I'm going to slide it right in here in the pocket for right now. So, whoops, here you go. So there you have it. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, and I did leave this top pocket open. So if I wanted to make extras, you know, go through a mass making, I could throw it inside the pocket there. 
So pretty cool, huh? And again, I'm not going to be keeping all of these pages in here. But for right now, pretty cool. All right. So there you have it. Pocket number two. Stay tuned for pocket number three. Take care. Get out there and create something. Make smart. Have some fun. And stay safe. Until next time, bye-bye.